Hello everybody, Rubble Games back here again in Wasteland 3, and today we are going over Vic Buchanan's uh, armor and mods and weapon loadouts, um, you know, today. So, uh, for, so, for those of you who decide to take Vic on as a party member, yes, you can do that. Um, I've kind of looked at uh, his base skills and stats, and he comes with maxed out small arms he comes also with um eight points into big guns and seven you know i think six or seven points into hard ass i'm not sure if i put anything in there and, but he does not come with explosives and you can see i put i've put in six points into explosives so far so that's kind of how i've tweaked him uh because i actually want him focusing in on the small arms aspect of his character um, I have a big weapons explosives person already that I use so I was kind of thinking Vic is a good replacement for Lucia uh, although there's a few other things that he's missing that Lucia has so I tend to primary Lucia but anyways he's a good substitute for Lucia in the fact that he's really good with small arms and that allows him to be a beast on the shotgun so um, I'm not having have you him use the best shotgun in the game uh, in my opinion is the jackhammer that is on my shotgun leader but I do have him use uh, the neutralizer auto shotgun and so now the cool thing about neutralizer auto shotgun is that it uses explosive shells and so that is why I have started pushing Vic down the explosives path because you get that bonus that damage bonus here um, like right now it's at 30% damage bonus on explosive damage and that applies to the explosive damage uh, of the shotgun shells so anyways so that's what I have here with his skills attributes wise um, I have pushed him up uh, he was mostly there I think already in strength but I pushed him up in coordination who's fairly low in coordination I think when I got him um, and so I've been I've been kind of pushing him up there to get those extra action points so that I can uh, use that for him. He also has that bonus psychopath critic chance plus, so that's pretty cool. So, anyways, let's dig into the equipment and what I'm using with him. So, um, I'm not really using the K cannon, although I have that as an offhand uh, for him. I don't even think I have this thing modded. Yep, I don't even have it modded. So, uh, it is what it is. So, but the neutralizer, I did go in and mod this guy. So, what did I do here? Um, for scope. We added the plus seven crit chance holographic scope. Again, in context of the other characters, this is probably the best scope I could put on this. Um, I thought about using the far-sighted computer assisted scope, but for me, just the the lower crit chance, because again, I want to see those crits happen uh, with the with the shotgun. Um, I just didn't want to do the trade-off for the extra 9 meter range, although I could see a lot of benefit of using that extra 9 meter range on here, or even any scope that, that extends out the range just a hair. So anyways, um, so that's kind of what I went with on this one, on this build. Uh, we also, for under, uh, under barrel, we use the ultraviolet laser sight. This gives us a plus 2x crit damage. Um, I do, again, we have the computer assisted laser sight with the which gives me just another 0.1x crit damage. However, it it drops the hit chance. Yeah, it's from 95 down to 90. It might be worth it, but also it only takes the crit damage up to 2.25 instead of 2.15. It's getting pretty small potatoes in there where I can just get a flat 0.2 for no, for no uh, detriment. So anyways, that's kind of the way I did it. You can tweak that if you want to on yours. Uh, added an extra couple of bullets to get his uh, magazine size up to 10 rounds. And then we put in the uh, plus 20 cone angle. Again, uh, the plus 30 cone angle I'm using on the jackhammer on my shotgun leader. So that's why we're not using that one here. So we're using the plus 20 cone angle. That's the weapon. Cool. And then um, Vic. Okay, little role play. Vic is the dude who came up with the breather stuff. Uh, might as well give him the breather mask, right? It's got decent armor. Um, and then what I modified it with is some crit resistance. So I bumped up his armor by one, added some crit resistance. But this also comes with 100% resistant to poison. So anytime um, there's anything that has to do with potentially setting off poison or anything like that, I send him in and he's 100% resistant to it. So pretty cool there. Um, then otherwise, he's using composite armor with a plus six 
uh, trauma plate insert. So that gives him 17 armor on that. And then he's also using composite legs right now. And again, he would be somebody that if I have an extra set of um, power armor around, I think he would have enough strength to, to wear it. But just right now, I don't have that. So composite legs it is. Uh, and we're also putting the exo knee on him. Shotgun build, relatively short range, needs to be mobile. Uh, I'm prioritizing the better combat speeds on my uh, two other characters that I have. So that he's going to get the point two with the plus one armor bonus there. And then um, didn't really have a good, there's no real good uh, offhand for Vic. His skills, the way I have him right now, he's not really primary. He's not, he's not doing mechanics. He's not doing toast repair. He's not my primary person for hard ass or anything like that. Although I think he is a uh, hard ass up, but I have, uh, yeah, I guess right now in my group, he's the highest hard ass I have. So maybe that would be something I would put in there. But for right now, I'm just going with the plus 5% crit resistance. Um, so where does that end up with us here? Um, so that puts Vic, he starts off with about nine action points. He can max out at 11, so not bad. If 146% hit chance, so maybe that 5% bump for extra range isn't that bad of an issue. Um, you know, again, you, you can take your pick on that one. 24% crit chance, uh, 1.8 1.8x crit damage. That's just at this character. I think the gun is the real one, which gets us to 2.15. Uh, decent penetration, good strike rate. Again, he's using small arms. Strike, it goes up in strike rate really well. And then um, not too much on resistances, just some small stuff in there. But he does have the 127% range damage bonus. And then with that explosives, he's getting that 135% explosive damage bonus. So that is really, really good. With a combat speed of 2.0, makes him very mobile to be able to run around um, the battlefield. So... With all of that, let's jump in and show Vic in action. You can tell in this version of the game, Vic is a little bugged. He's, you can see he's not holding his weapon right now, and he just kind of slides around. So, um, yeah, we, we see that thing, same thing, I think, happens with Scotch Mo from time to time as well. So I don't know if that's a normal thing with Vic or if that's new with the latest patch. But anyways, it is. So we're jumping in underneath Broadmoor Heights. So in this area, when you jump down here, after you've completed this part of the quest line, you get jumped by a bunch of mercenaries. So it's a really good area to kind of uh, showcase this stuff off. Now, um, sometimes I get initiative, uh, sometimes I don't. And looks like right now we're not getting initiative. <laughs> so let's see who survives. Oof, we're getting worked. Okay, Wolf, do, some, do a little work for us here. Help us out. Um, Looks like Pazepi got tagged a bunch, but everyone else d seemed to do pretty good. Usually, Hawk is the one that I'm most worried about with this one because uh, she is my glass cannon, if you will. So, um, Wasteland Wolf is going to take a little damage this time because I want to be able to show off Vic. So, but first thing we do whenever we open it up is let's do a rally. That's going to give everyone plus two action points. And Vic, you know, you got Torrent Strike up. This might be a good spot for you to go right here. Let's see, there's four people right in this spot. Let's run over here. And we are going to see if I can keep fish lips out of there. Yeah, let's see you do some work, buddy. Well, that was awesome. Look at that. Four guys in one shot with that torrent strike. It is nuts. Um, and then, let's see. I think if I take a step here... Let's take a step over here, and then, yeah, I think we can do another shot here. That's another little bit of work. Okay, that kind of does Vic in. Um, let's see, who do we grab next? We have grab Pazepi. Pazepi can run over here, and then she'll get a free attack up here. And then she'll get a free, and then she'll just attack up here. And that'll finish off that round. So cool. So anyways, good showcase of Vic doing some serious work for us, right? Four guys in one shot. Granted, yes, it's a torrent strike. It's a beast of a shot. But even without that, he would have gotten a couple of shots off with that shotgun, probably taken at least two or three of those guys down. And then the rest of the team could have cleaned them up. So anyways, I hope you liked this video. If you did, um, please leave a like down below. Uh, consider hitting that subscribe button and you'll get notified 
when I release new videos. And until then, everyone, I will talk to you later. Goodbye. <laughs>